This video is to help pet owners learn how to properly line brush to avoid things like this, a matted, pelted coat where your dog has to be shaved short. Here's some pictures, just some stills of a line brushing picture, still shot, and then here's some of our clients that have unfortunately been so matted up against that skin that they've had to go short. Another pelted coat that came off all in one piece and a smaller dog. And here is a chow mix also that also was had to be shaved super short due to the tangling matting up against the skin. And here's another pelted coat. So let's show you the idea of line brushing and how it kind of got its name. We're going to take our slicker brush and our comb and basically in small sections, see how the comb doesn't go through? We're going to use our slicker brush and lift that hair up and make sure we brush from the skin out. The biggest place where the dogs get tangled and matted is right up against the skin. Many times along their back, they will look not tangled or matted and that's the last place they do get tangled and matted. We have to get that all brushed out and the wet grass, bathing, swimming, all makes that get tighter and tighter. So before we can even bathe these doodles and double coated dogs in our shop, we have to completely and totally brush them out. Here's a little better view is of the actual horizontal line here that we're trying to create. Comb won't go through, so we're going to grab our slicker brush and work on a horizontal section at a time from the skin out. Using a good quality slicker brush allows for less pressure. Be very careful around the rear hawk area where you can brush burn easily. Again, we're creating that vertical line, skin out. Checking with our comb, doing most of the burden of the work with a good quality slicker brush. Here's a slicker brush that we use and sell in our store, but a good strong pinned slicker. And then here's a comb with two different widths of tines on it. Also other breeds like a double coated breed like this Collie you also use what's called line brushing. You lift up that fur and you work from the lowest part of the leg and you move upward. So see how we're creating that vertical line again and brushing from the skin out. Once it gets really tight up against the skin, that's where either we physically can't brush those out or the dog can't tolerate it and it's painful for them. And that's when we have to shave them short. We're always happy in our shop to give people a little mini lesson in line brushing so that they can always keep their pets at the length that they would prefer. Underneath their bellies, armpits area, that those are areas that are easier to shave out. They're tender areas, it's harder to get underneath there and brush them. So those are easier to be shaved without even noticing. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. Good luck and happy brushing.